Hello and welcome to your 14th algebra class. I am, of course, your favorite math teacher, Mr. Marquez. And today we're going to continue to talk about using intercepts, but we're actually going to use them to graph. So in our previous video, I showed you guys how to find x and y intercepts from a graph. And I also showed you how to find x and y intercepts from an equation. Now today we're going to do the same finding x and y intercepts from an equation, but we're going to make a graph. So I have two quick examples along with this video. I'm going to upload some exercises for you to work on. So let's get started, all right? The first problem says 2x minus 4y equals 8. Now I want to find my x and y intercepts and I want to graph my function. So remember that I'm going to start with my x-intercept. And if I'm looking for my x-intercept, always remember that y equals 0. Now this morning in the virtual classroom, I was able to explain that to some of you guys. So what that ultimately means is that I'm going to take my equation, instead of writing 2x minus 4y equals 8, I am actually going to change that into 2x minus 4 times 0 equals 8. In other words, I just plug in the 0 where the y was. So 2x, 4 times 0 is 0, so minus 0 equals 8. I add 0, of course. 2x equals 8, I divide by 2, and x equals 4. So I know that my x-intercept equals 4, but remember I have to graph this function at the end. So I actually have an ordered pair where x equals 4 and y equals 0. So we say 4 and 0. Now remember, the 0 is, because if I'm looking for my x-intercept, y equals 0. So I have an ordered pair there, and because my x equals 4, that means that my ordered pair is 4 and 0. So if we're going to do the same, now looking for our y-intercept, just always remember that if I'm looking for my y-intercept, which is what I'm going to do here, x equals 0. So I'm going to rewrite the equation, 2x minus 4y equals 8, but instead of writing 2x, I write 2 times 0 minus 4y equals was 8. Okay, I just plugged in the 0 wherever I had an x. So 2 times 0 is going to be 0 minus 4y equals 8. I mean, technically you don't even have to write the 0, but to, contain, to, to have some continuity, so I just add 0 on both sides, minus 4y equals 8. I divide by negative 4, and the reason it's negative 4 is because I bring down the 4, y and I bring down the minus sign. So negative 4, and this cancels out, and y equals negative 2. So I have the second part of my ordered pair. So remember that if I'm looking for my y-intercept, x equals 0, so the other ordered pair is actually 0 and negative 2. Now to graph the function, okay, now to graph the function, I have the first ordered pair, which is 4 and 0, meaning that I'm going to move 1, 2, 3, 4 spaces to the right, and since y equals 0, I don't move up or down. It stays right there. The other one is 0 and negative 2. So 0, if y is 0, or x is 0, excuse me, that means that it's in the origin. Now the y is negative 2, so that means I move two spaces down, 1 and 2. And then I graph my function. And that, that is the end of that exercise, okay? Very simple, very easy. Again, I... Just like we did in our previous video, I found my x-intercept, I found my y-intercept. Remember that if I'm looking for my x-intercept, y equals 0. In this case, I solved for x equals 4. The 0 is because of the y-intercept. Likewise, when I'm looking for my x-intercept, <coughs> for my y-intercept, excuse me, <coughs> x equals 0. And then I solve for y is negative 2, 0, negative 2. Graph the points, and then I just trace the line. Now let's look at this last example, and then we'll be done for this video lesson. So, in this exercise, we have y equals negative x plus 3. So, y equals negative x plus 3. Now, here is something interesting because in our previous example, my equation wasn't solved for y, so there's really nothing that I, all I had to do was just plug in the zeros. Here, not only is my equation solved for y, but I have a negative x. So, what am I going to do? Those steps are the same. I'm going to look for my x-intercept. Now, always remember that if I look for my x-intercept, y equals 0. 
which means that instead of writing y equals negative x plus 3, I'm going to say 0 equals negative x plus 3. Okay? So what am I going to do now? Well, I'm going to move the 3 to the other side. So this is actually going to be negative 3 because remember I subtract 3 and this cancels out and 0 minus 3 is negative 3. Okay? So I subtracted 3. This cancels out. 0 minus 3 is negative 3. And that leaves me with negative 3 equals negative x. But x can't be negative. So I need to get rid of this negative sign there. Now in order to get rid of that negative sign, I divide by negative 1. This cancels out, right? And negative 3 divided by negative 1 is positive 3, and positive 3, or x equals 3, or 3 equals x, which is the same thing, okay? So let me just do it this way, just to avoid any confusion. So this cancels out, I have x, and negative 3 divided by negative 1 is positive 3, so 3 equals x. Now, if x equals 3 and my y-intercept equals 0, that means that my first ordered pair is 3 and 0. Now we're going to do the same thing, but we're going to look for our y-intercept. And if I look for my y-intercept, always remember, if I'm looking for my y-intercept, x equals 0. So that means that instead of writing y equals negative x plus 3, I'm going to change the value of negative x to 0. And since 0 can't be negative, it's just 0 plus 3. And 0 plus 3 is 3, so y equals 3, meaning that if y equals 3, and whenever I'm looking for my y-intercept x equals 0, that means that my other ordered pair is 0 and 3. So my ordered pair is 3, 0, and 0 and 3, so now I'm going to graph that, and I'm going to say 0, 3. If x is 0, that means it starts at my origin, since the y coordinate is 3, it's positive, it goes 3 spaces up, so 1, 2, and 3. And then I have my other ordered pair, which is 3, 0, that means that x is 3 and y is 0, so that means I don't move in y, and I just graph it right here, and then I points and guys that is it for this exercise that is also it for this video lesson so along with these exercises i'm going to upload some practice problems you need to look at the videos on youtube you need to go to college one and make sure that you're downloading those practice problems remember this week's test is on friday and it's on all of the material that i am uploading this week so stay safe and i'll see you guys soon bye